Hello everybody, welcome back to another hit film tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to work with video and images. How to add images in, how to move them, rotate them, animate them, and just overall increase your production value as a video editor and YouTube content creator. Let's go. What am I talking about here? I've got a nice pic video of this bulldog doing bulldog things. And then I've got this image here of this lady against a wall. And again, I'm just going to show you how to add it in, how to animate it, how to rotate it, do all those fancy things in just a few seconds. So let's delete everything here and let's start from scratch. First thing, I'm going to grab my video footage and just drag and drop it onto video track one. Presto, I am not going to change this because uh, the reason why is if you go into 4K mode, hit film will put a watermark on it. So I'm just going to use the 1920 by 1080. Now to add an image into it, you just drop it into your media file here or in your media folder and then you just drag and drop it on top. And presto, there it is. However, you are going to notice that this is zoomed in and we've got a problem. And here, let me show you the first thing you need to know is how to go ahead and adjust its size. What you can do is instead of having it at 66%, watch this. I'm going to drop it down to about 25%. And when I do that, you're going to see here that I have the option to sort of move this image around here. You'll see that I've got this blue bars here. And then in particular, I've got a point here on each of the four corners. And if I pull that in and I hold the shift key down, it reduces its size proportionally. So I'm going to go ahead and just hold the shift key down and I'm going to just make it nice and small. And there we go. We've got something small and we'll maybe we'll mount it over here on the right side. Now I want to see this in full again. So I'm just going to go back over here and I'm just going to go to 100% for example. But that might not be right because this doesn't quite look correct. So we'll go to 66.7. There we go. We've got some space on the sides. Okay, good. Now, if I want to increase the length or decrease the length of time this picture's in here, all you got to do is just go, okay, if this was where I wanted the image to come in, I would just pull this left side here and presto. It's, there's no image. Now there's an image and I'll make it so that it goes right to the end. So that's something else. It works just like video. If you want to rotate it, all you need to do is hover over this little blue uh, square or I guess that's a rectangle I can't tell if it's an exact square and then boom you can just rotate the image just like this so that's another thing in case you want to get some rotational action in it now if you don't like where it's placed you can of course always just click on it and move it I'll hit command or control Z to bring it back but now I want to show you how to do some animation of it so you've got an image it pops in but you want to animate it so that it kind of flies off the other side of the screen it is a very excellent way to increase your production value. To animate in HitFilm was quite easy. What you need to do is click on the image like I've done here and now go to the controls panel. When you open up the controls panel in particular, you're going to see the transform controls and watch this. You can now animate all of these different things, position, scale, rotation, so opacity. So if you want it to flash in and flash out or rotate and wiggle. You can do all of those things, increase, decrease in size. But the one I want to show you is position. But keep in mind, you can do all of them. I'm going to now click on this little circle here. And this is the equivalent of a keyframe. We have created a keyframe in this little diamond here. And now I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead forward. And let's say at the seven second ish mark, Somewhere around here, I want this to have animated off the screen. So I'm just going to pull it off. And as I do that, you're going to see that little elastic band looking thing, that line. That's basically the line of animation. So that tells you where we've animated. So now I'm just going to hit space bar. And it's going to take a few seconds because it's, this is running through cache. And HitFilm isn't quite as uh, good at this as Premiere Pro is. Let's try it again. Hit space bar. And then you'll see that it just sort of slides out the other side. And it was a little bit janky. That's just because it's running in cache and uh, it's not quite as fast as I'd like. So there you go. We've shown you how to add an image, resize an image, rotate it, increase its scale, change its position. We've shown you how to animate it off screen. And you can also do a whole bunch of other things. This adds an amazing amount of production value to your videos right away. Thanks for watching, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.